What's going on, my creative collective? Welcome to another Course in Creativity. We're back. Um, it's been a couple days. I've just been getting some, catching up on some rest while on vacation uh, and really just taking care of and honoring my body. So uh, with that being said, though, this lesson is called On Joy. So recently I had, uh, I was, I had some, uh, it was brought to my attention some health stuff that had come up related to transitioning and um, just some numbers were quite high related to heart stuff and I'm fine. It's the numbers are going back down. Um, taking care of things and putting things in place to do that and that's the, the body is a beautiful thing it really is we tend to forget it because we're in it all the time but damn these bodies are amazing right but I was uh, I was reading through an old uh, an older book that I have that um, when I was in my teens my mom would often get us to turn to if we had you know if we weren't feeling well or things along, along those lines we would certainly still get the appropriate medical care um, my mom though just wanted to prioritize any potential emotional causes of things so we would turn to this book uh, by Louise Hay, Heal Your Body and a lot of the things that I was reading related to heart related to joy and the flow of joy the flow of joy through us the flow of joy in our lives and you know I've experienced it where when symptoms show up in the body emotionally they've been anchoring for a very long time not everyone's gonna agree with this and that's totally fine. Um, that's that's all right. Um, we are allowed to have differing opinions, my friends. That's the beauty of being here. <laughs> Both and, right? Both and world. So um, yeah, just reading through. And, and one of the things that I've been understanding about transitioning is that it's like tapping into this energetic and epigenetic place of um, you know, the, the, the healing that's needed to take place in a lot of the patrilineal inheritances. And this is epigenetics. You know, I read this book, I'll put it here. It's, uh, it didn't start with you. I read this in 2017 when it came out, brilliant book, highly recommend it. Other teachers have followed up. They've, they've talked about it a lot, like a year ago or so. Um, so it like, you know, and I'm, gr I'm glad that they brought that to their audience because it's a really important book. Uh, so it's, it's, it's quite good, but it talks about these epigenetic inheritances. And one of the things that transitioning has brought to the fore for me in different ways is, um, just really exploring the ways that tea changes the body and how symptoms can pop up and then disappear. And then just, it's, it's such a, a wonderful and enlightening process. And I've also had a lot of, um, family members who have passed, who are from on my dad's side, so patrilineally come to me in dreams. And it's been so so incredible it's been incredible to have them come to me in dreams and, and convey messages and uh, work through things related to joy of course <laughs> so um, I, I was you know in talking to a friend about this yesterday we were unpacking and just you know talking about the the depths of this in terms of joy and how we allow ourselves the experience of it how we deny ourselves joy and and at what cost right and and how we define joy versus happiness and contentment and and how those things play together uh, to create this bigger picture for us and you know it's i was saying that um it, we talk about 10 feet of personal space right like these are my this is my 10 feet of personal space but what about your 10 feet of joy what about your 10 feet of joy and and this isn't about indulgent joy. This isn't about, you know, indulgent self-care where you're going to go have like a day that does nothing to really, you know, deal with issues if they need to be addressed. You know, there's like got to be a balance. Um, but it was really that abiding joy, the thing in you that is consistent in that peace, right? Finding that peace within you. And my friend, she had a very stable home life growing up and we were talking about the differences and, and things like that. But she, you know, because she said that I tend to invest in people heavily and she loves them really hard and they're both sides of the same thing, but it's different pace and the way that we approach peace is very different. And um, that's why we're such good friends because we can, it, we balance each other out in a lot of ways and just excellent human being. Um, but one of the things that she said that really struck me that I wanted to bring to you here, um, because this is an act of creativity, honestly, if we see the world this way, um, and not to be fatalistic or nihilistic in saying this either, um, but she said that in four generations, in four generations, we will be but a memory, if not a photo in a photo album, um, if those are even around still, <laughs> haven't been digitized in a different way. So she said in four generations, the memory of her will have ceased to be in the same way. So the, really the only impact that she can have right now is on the people in her life right now. And so, you know, she has this gift for engaging with people and just putting people at ease in a way that it just brings out this light in them. Um, 
you know, and we, I, <laughs> we were talking about how we were kind of like Stadler and Waldorf <laughs> uh, out and about yesterday, but it just, it's like the way that she can pull these beautiful aspects of people out because she's, she gets that this is like this moment, this, this present moment is all that we have, number one, but number two, that the people in our lives and the connections that we make are equally so all that we have. You know, she said four generations from now, no one will remember the essence of me the things that make me, me when I enter a room or the ways that the, the energy of the room changes when I enter that room. And it's not to be self-centered either, it's true, right? You know, even if you have kids, they'll remember you, but your grandkids will only know the grandparent. They won't know the whole totality of you. So all that you have is this moment. And if your joy comes from something external, if your joy comes from something that doesn't start within you, so if your peace is disruptable if your peace is reliant upon the people outside of you um then you know and this isn't to say live for those people and like anchor in that external um in that external source of stability but uh, i just wanted to leave that here just to say you know um how are you connecting with the people in your life and are you connecting with them like like you have four generations or are you connecting with them like you have one or a present moment what does that look like and feel like how are you feeling it in your body in the moment how are you sitting with that and resting in that knowledge you know um we have a tendency to rush to the finish line and be so excited when we get there and be absolutely pumped and so thrilled and yes let's do this we forget though that there's a string of people along the way that meet us in a series of present moments that blow your mind that just blow your mind Right. And this, the friend that I met with yesterday and uh, had a great time with, we, there's a way that there's like a silence that we can have between us. Um, we, it happens often, but I, I feel like that silence speaks so loudly and it's just in that silence, you know, cause she had made the comment about the generations, um, and, and just her memory and, you know, her whole thing is just that you, she, she said, my job here isn't to achieve anything and everything. My job here is to love my people as hard as I can. To, to love as hard as you can and not to be like to love as hard as you can make it a task no um get the eyebrow ledge out of it right uh just to, to love your people as hard as you can where you are um and what comes from that what play can come from that what creativity can come from that what joy can come from that and and how that is indicative of your peace how your peace comes from that Right. How that is in, how that is an extension of your peace, because when you're not attached to the outcome or to the labels that you've given to people or the categories where they are supposed to fit and you just meet them where they are and you you say to yourself, my job isn't to fix anything. My job is just to love this, to love where I am, to love these people fiercely, to love these things fiercely. That is peace to me. So I wanted to leave that bit of wisdom with you, with all of you. Um, and just to, as a reminder, to focus on the flow of joy, to focus on the flow of joy, not in anticipation of a tomorrow that might not ever come. Cause we often use that and say, well, we don't know if we're given tomorrow and that's very true, but that's also very fear-based, right? It's very fear-based. Um, and I think when we're grateful for the present moment, we realize that we don't need to, to live as though there is no tomorrow because we're always here. So tomorrow isn't a thought that motivates us. It's the present moment because that is rich because that has so much joy in it because that is peace that's peace so that is your lesson for today my lovelies <laughs> um i hope that if this resonated please like and subscribe it helps me to grow this channel once again thank you for your patience while i am taking care of my body um the the tea is is wonderful it's doing fantastic things for my jawline and for my <laughs> for for my body uh, there are moments though where i do need to rest reevaluate and tweak some different things so um i've been doing that and just taking care of myself so thank you for your patience again i really appreciate it uh, and also for your time and your eyes thank you for joining me here i really appreciate it um and just uh you know throughout this this day and the the coming weeks just take care of your bodies take care of yourselves have compassion for yourself exactly where you are so, and remember to lean into joy, lean into your peace and love the moment and the people in it as fiercely as you can. So I hope that wherever this finds you on the time space continuum, my lovelies, morning, afternoon, or night, it finds you very, very well. Take care and have a wonderful day.